Guys, what's going on? Etika from the Etika World Network here. And by the way, you may hear some background noise. Got the windows wide open just to make some cool air flow in here. Anyways, now, you all probably know about this if you're interested in Smash. that uh, The Apex Series tournaments are going down right now in New Jersey. Uh, I would have been there myself, but there was way too much for me to manage at home with moving and my channel blowing up and keeping everything on track with that. So sadly, I wasn't able to be there. Good luck to all my dudes out there. But... This news is about Apex. Now, I don't know the exact details, but I'm going off of what's being said on Twitter right now publicly to the masses by D1 and Apex's official 2015 Twitter page. There's a lot of stuff to cover right now, but the gist of it that I'm getting is that the tournament's venue was shut down by the fire marshals for some reason. Now, we're going to go more into detail. We're going to look at D1's tweets. As you can see right here, I'm on D1's Twitter page. And um, if you don't know who D1 is, then, um, you know, there may be some of you that don't. D1 is a tournament announcer who's really famous in the Smash community. This guy is everywhere. He's worked with Nintendo directly. He's a main figurehead in the Smash community and definitely one of the people in charge at Apex. Or if he's not in charge, he's definitely around the people that are in charge. And D1 is posting updates to keep people um, up to date as to what the hell's going on with Apex. So when I saw this myself, I had to do a video to cover it because this is kind of like crazy. I know a lot of people were watching the um, Apex streams and the fact that this is happening, the venue's being shut down, is, is definitely news worth talking about so let's move down and we're gonna look at some of D1's tweets so two hours ago D1 said the fire alarm went off and the marshals came through apparently the Smash 4's room support beam was weak and we had to clear out so plan B time so now here's the thing right I don't understand what called the marshals to the venue in the first place now when they got there they discovered that everyone had to be cleared out that bitch because the Smash 4 room looked like it was about to collapse I don't know if this is because of the weight of the participants in the room, the maximum occupancy being filled, or something else entirely. We have no confirmation to that, but don't worry. We'll be going into stuff that's being confirmed later on, as Apex 2015 made a tweet that said that we are going to make an announcement on VGC Bootcamp in two hours. This was one hour ago that Apex made this tweet, so we are going to be finding out very soon just what the fuck happened at Apex that got that venue shut down. And um, apparently it was due to a weak support beam, but what caused that weak support? Beam. Why were the fire marshals call, um, called in the first place? Was it because of the weak support beam? Who knows? But either way, we will know. I also was looking at my nigga Kobe's page, and Shofu's page. Everybody's kind of a little thrown off by this. There are apparently some issues with the hotel as well, too. But um, yeah, so let's just look at some more updates on this issue before we jump to the next issue at the hotel. But I mean, so far, so D1 talking about what's going on exactly. And then um, Team Apex posted, sorry competitors, the fire marshals put a hold on the tournament. You're having an emergency meeting and we'll keep everyone updated. And um, D1 saying, stay tuned for updates. We're having an emergency staff meeting as we speak. The show will go on. So, you know, good stuff to see here. You know, this is definitely not shutting the venue down. And there is some silver lining as D1 confirmed a few minutes ago that there was going to be a new venue called the Garden State Convention Center. This event is still happening. Big thanks to Twitch for this. Tell everyone you know. Well, D1, I'm telling everyone I know, Twitch has got everyone covered. They're going to be moving the venue to, an, excuse me, they're going to be moving the event to a new venue, the Garden State Convention Center. So if you're watching this and you're at Apex right now, or you're attending Apex and you don't know what's going on, where to go, you got confirmation from myself and D1 that this is going to be going on there. So you might have to, you might have to Google map that motherfucker, but hey, you know, at least things aren't being shut down totally. The fire marshal's probably going to have that bitch closed off for a while. If it's involving a weak support beam, that means no one can go anywhere near that motherfucker for a good amount of time. So it's good that Twitch was able to quickly get a resolution to this, but I hope that we're still going to have a PSA later on by VGC Bootcamp. I'll be tuning in myself as well to see exactly what the hell's going on and if there's going, like, you know, what the details of this whole thing were. Let's see some more tweets from um, Team Apex, actually. Team Apex said, um, do not be alarmed. There was no fire at Apex 2015. Someone triggered the emergency exit door. Oh, so that's what happened. And once again, the details fill themselves in with this whole thing. Someone, I guess someone must have accidentally triggered that door alarm, like he said. I, I doubt it was intentional. Who would be an asshole enough to do that? But then again, this is the internet at the end of the day. But someone triggered an emergency alarm by accident and the fire marshals busted in there. And when they arrived, you know what? Maybe we should... Con Consider it an act of faith that freaking the door got emergency, um, excuse me, the, the alarm got emergency um, hit off too because what if the fire marshals didn't come? What if that room collapsed in on itself with people in there? God damn, man. All right, thank, 
you know what, we should be thanking our lucky stars that those marshals were able to clear everybody out, that they were there when they were there, because unsafe conditions like that, such as a support beam giving way, this could have turned ugly. And thankfully, you know, thankfully this was found out really early, so no one had to get hurt by falling debris, a collapsing ceiling, something like that. When I hear of weak support beam, a lot of scary stuff jumps into my mind. So big shout out to Team Apex, big shout out to D1, big shout out to the Fire Marshal, you keep doing your thing, keep swinging that fucking axe. Um, Smash 4 and Smash 4 room and Smash Brawl room are currently unusable due to Fire Marshal sanction. Please hang tight. I'm guessing that a lot of the other rooms are being used for the different games, as it's not just Smash that's being held at Apex. Ultimate Street Fighter 4, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, I mean, Ultra Sleep Street Fighter 4, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, Team Apex is on hold. We are having a PSA. We will not have any updates until the VGC Bootcamp um, stream. If you are around the hotel, you have at least two to three hours before announcements. I want to reiterate, there are no tournament sets going on right now. No sets are being run in the hotel or anywhere else. But the venue for Apex has changed and the new venue is 50. Oh wow, okay, so there's uh, something else going on now too. The venue is now once again different. The Garden State Convention Center is what D1 said, but Team Apex from Screw Attack, and you all know who Screw Attack is, but um, but Team Apex from Screw Attack says that the new venue is 50 Atrium Drive, Somerset, New Jersey. Um, so maybe this is exactly where the um, Garden, where the Garden State Convention Center is. Let's just take a look. I want to confirm this on camera for you guys. So we're going to search up this place, and if this is the if this Garden State Convention Center is the same address as Screw Attack is saying for Apex. 50 Atrium Drive, New Somerset, New Jersey. Wait, 50 Atrium Drive, Somerset, New Jersey. We just searched Garden State Convention Center. 50 Atrium Drive, Somerset, New Jersey. All right, there we go. There we go, it's confirmed, guys. So, you know, this is the new venue for Apex 2015. So, definitely head down here. I'm not sure if that's it right there, but they have a new venue, thankfully. I'm really impressed that they managed to get on top of this so fast, but it's good news. It's very good to hear. I'm glad this whole thing's going down. And hey, I, hopefully I confirm some information for you guys who are confused as to what the hell is going on if you don't follow their Twitter page. But then again, you know, grapevine talk. You probably found out already. Anyways, guys, so what do you think about this whole thing? I'm glad that everything's being taken care of because, you know, my nigga Kobe went through some problems with the hotel that Apex provided for him, I think. Or if it's not Apex provision, just... The first hotel that Kobe went to wasn't really too good because this nigga said there were just stains on the goddamn bed. Like, what the fuck is that, nigga? Just stains? Just stains? Ew! <laughs> nigga, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Apex turn up. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.